So a lot of it is to go into the situation loose. If you have to sit in your car and listen to your favorite song, whatever it happens to be, but go in loose. Have a joke ready for the kids. The kids love a, a joke. Particularly, you know, so the younger they are, if you can tell one about ha revolving a booger or something, they'll love it. The older they get, something maybe they won't um, have heard before, but uh, a good joke gets the kids, uh, or a promise of a good joke. If they tell them, hey, if you do this in the game, you know, I'll tell you a joke afterwards, and the kids, they have a tendency to like that. Um, but if you see a kid, particularly a leader of the team, getting tense and loose and doing, you know, doing things that he wouldn't normally do, making a bad pass or swinging at high strikes or whatever it is, but it's different than his normal behavior, that's probably anxiety coming in and loosen them up, loosen them up. That's the best thing to do. Just let them know that, that it's not about, they, they don't have to carry the team or whatever it happens to be. Ask them, what's going on? What's going on? You know, I saw you swing at that high pitch. You know, that's not like you. What, what's going on? Don't make it a negative. Just let them know that you see that there's a difference in their behavior. Um, and that oftentimes helps them in that moment to realize that that somebody else sees what's going on and that to them shows that that somebody cares and just that little bit of caring uh, can be amazing for especially the younger kids the younger the better but even the middle school the high school kids you show them you have a little bit of caring about what they're going through in this moment it, it's going to mean a lot to them